Hello, and welcome back to season two of the Sharing Wisdom podcast. I'm your host, Angie Wisdom, and happy new year. Here we are in 2024, and I'm kicking off this season solo for you. I want to start showing up for you this year in my solo podcast as well. I had a lot of requests last season that said, why don't you do more podcasts on your own? Tell us what you want to share instead of always interviewing guests. So you got it. You asked for it and I'm delivering. This episode though, we are going to talk about what you want in 2024. And you might already be totally overwhelmed with the fact that it's a new year and what you're going to create in it. But I'm going to ask you to just pause for a second. I'm going to give you something new to work on today. It's not your traditional goal setting. You don't have to worry about being overwhelmed or setting goals that you're going to fail. I'm going to walk you through what I believe to be such an important process to create the life and business that you want in your new year. It's really as simple as that. Talking about like, what do you want your life to look like? What do you want your business to look like? Filling your life with the things that bring you joy, the things that you want to achieve, the way you want to live. We're really talking about just building a lifestyle that you want for the new year. So if you're a little anxious about goal setting, ditch those worries. I've got you. And if you feel like you've already set some goals, that's okay too. Because these questions that I'm going to ask you today are probably going to help you get even more clarity on what you want in your 2024. There's a couple key pieces and what I'm going to take you through today, we're going to talk a little bit about reflection and why that's important and, and some of the key questions you should ask yourself as you're looking at the past year. We're going to get into some great questions around desires. So we're not just going to skip right into pick your goals and set goals. We need to know what you want how you want to feel, what you want to be doing. So we're going to talk about some desires. They're great questions, easy to answer. And you will be so amazed at how all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and you learn something about yourself. Then we're going to talk a little bit about goals. If you feel like you want to set some goals around that. And then I'm going to give you my number one question that's going to help you stay on track and is going to help you achieve and live to everything you want in 2024. So stay tuned for that because it's a simple question you can ask yourself every single day that's going to help you stay in integrity with yourself and create the life that you want for 2024. And in there, I'll give you some tools to keep you on track as far as if you move down that goal setting road, how do you stay in touch with those goals? How do you keep taking action towards those? So I've got a lot of great pieces for you today. So stay tuned, but let's jump in first to that reflection piece I mentioned. Now, if you work with me, you got a reflection sheet, a pretty lengthy one, I might add. I usually have it about four or five pages and I ask a lot of questions about what happened in your previous year because it's really important information. You've heard me say before, if you don't know, you can't grow. So being able to reflect on your year and extract both the good and the bad is a really important piece because that's how you get to decide what you're going to create this year and make it more in line with what you want. So I'm not going to go through all those questions with you today, but I'll give you a couple of my favorites. And if you actually want the full reflection worksheet, even though we're starting the new year, it will be in the show notes. I'll have it there for you to download. So you're more than welcome to go through all of those questions or pick the ones that suit you best. But some of my favorite questions are, where did you find the most joy? So think about 2023. Where did you find the most joy in your life? What caused you the most amount of frustration? Another one I really like is, what do you wish you had more of in 2023? And what do you wish you did less of in 2023? Another great one is thinking about the people you spent time with. Who did you spend a lot of time with? Who do you wish you would have spent a lot of time with? Asking yourself questions like these, you know, sometimes you move right past them during the year and you don't even take note. But when you reflect and then you go, wow, I really wish I would have spent more time with so-and-so, you know, I wish I would have spent more time with my sister. I wish I would have spent more time with my mentor. You now have this inside information that's going to help you set up your next year in a more intentional way. If you felt like you spent too much time on social media or too much time worrying, Again, another insight that's going to help you create how you're going to spend your time differently in 2024. 
So the reflection is key. Don't skip it. And hopefully if you're driving, you've got some of these answers popping into your head. And if you're actually sitting at a desk and you can write these things down, take some time, pause this podcast right now and write down a few things about what are your biggest takeaways from 2023? What do you want to remember and make note of as you go into this new year of planning 2024? That's our reflection piece. Again, you got to, got to know if you want to grow. So take the time to reflect and figure some of that out. Now, the next piece is really about desires. And it's different than just jumping into goal setting, you all, because if we just jump into goal setting, a lot of times the mind, it creates goals around, well, what did I do last year? If I did this much in sales revenue, if I did this much in income, then I should do a little bit more. And yes, that is growth. But is that growth that really excites you and expands you? Hmm, one could argue that it's not. So I would say really take the time to let's figure out these desires before you just go jumping into throwing goals out there based upon what you did last year and what would be a little bit better. That's often sometimes how we end up in the goal graveyard because you set some goal. It's not real meaningful. It's just supposed to stretch you a little bit more than last year. So why is that exciting to go after? Eventually you lose interest or maybe you didn't have to work that hard to do it. So it doesn't feel that great. So let's talk about these questions of desire. I absolutely love these. And I do this myself, you all. Like I literally print my own goal sheet and I write out all these questions. So again, if you're driving, I want you to answer these questions in your mind right now. No matter where you are, if you're, if you're sitting, you can write them down, great. But think about the first thing that comes to your mind. And I'm going to move through these slowly because I want you to come up with an answer as I'm talking to you. I want to feel fill in the blank. All of these are fill in the blank statements. I want to feel energized, excited, healthy. What do you want to feel this coming year? I want to be I want to be intentional. I want to be committed. I want to be loving. I want to be thoughtful. What is it that you want to be this year? I want to have. I want to have a healthy lifestyle. I want to have a booming business. I want to have a loving relationship. I want to have peace on a daily basis. What is it that you want to have in 2024? And I know maybe several options come up when I ask you these questions. So you can write multiples down because later you're going to really zone in on the one that jumps out to you. What about I want to live? I want to live more intentionally on the edge, passionately, freely, healthy. What's your fill in the blank there? I want to live. I want to stop. Is there anything you want to stop this year? I want to stop worrying. I want to stop complaining. I want to stop doubting myself. I want to stop scrolling social media too much. I want to stop procrastinating. What is it for you? And on the other side of that, I want to start. I want to start showing up for myself. I want to start helping others. I want to start believing in myself. I want to start a new business. You see, these answers can go in all sorts of different directions. There's no right or wrong here. We are genuinely trying to tap in to what you feel inside of you and what these statements bring out. This is truly what's aligned with your desires and also with your values. So these questions are really fun and they're so fun to do with kids and spouses and friends as well. And again, I will put this whole goal setting worksheet, which includes these questions of, you know, these fill in the blank statements in the show notes so you can download them and do them as well. But take the time to do them because you'll figure out like, wow, I didn't even know I 
wanted to live an exciting life. I didn't know I wanted more peace in my life. I didn't know I wanted to stop worrying so much. Again, if we don't take the time to really dig within ourselves, you can have these feelings at a subconscious level that you don't even realize and you don't pay attention to. Therefore, you don't create any opportunity to do anything about them. So we're still in this space. We're still in this space of creating self-awareness around what we want. I was almost tempted to share all of my answers with you because I think it's so fun to explore these questions and, and see what pops up. But that next phase, you all, is if you end up with these questions of how you want to feel, what you want to start, what you want to have, what do you want to be, you have these just little pieces of like treasure there to start building upon what your ideal life will look like in 2024. And this is why I say it's not that complicated. You don't have to go setting. I know some people may really freak out when I say this. You don't have to go setting smart goals for everything. Sometimes goals are just about the life that you want to live, the way you want to feel, the people you want to be around. They don't have to have this, you know, specific time measurement and this way to measure it. Yes, that is super important in setting certain types of goals. But what I'm talking to you here, but what I'm talking to you right now about is really just creating a life that you love and that you're excited to wake up to every single day, a life filled with the things that are most important to you that align with who you are and your values. So let go of the whole, you know, measurement and planning. Just really think about these statements that you just completed and now shift your mind over to if I want to feel healthy or whatever you wrote in your statements there, then what kind of goals do I want to set around that? If any, if you want to stop worrying, what kind of goal could you set around that? And that may sound a little strange, like a goal to not worry. Sure, you could absolutely say, I'm going to set a goal to not worry every single day. And I'm going to set an intention around that. And I'm going to give myself a practice. Anytime a worry comes up, I'm going to say to myself, I choose not to worry. I live in the present moment. I believe in myself. It's as simple as that, you all. It's not going to be like, well, did I hit it every single day? As you shift over from these statements, the desire statements of I want to feel, I want to have, I want to be, you can start to ask yourself, like, is there a goal that aligns with that? So going back to those statements, say, for example, you said, I want to feel healthy. Okay, well, we've got to start to define that first. What does that mean? What would actually make you feel healthy? Is it moving your body every day? Is it eating less sugar? Is it waking up earlier? Only you know, you have to decide that. So all of these statements of desire, you have to define what that actually means to you. You said, I want to be peaceful. Okay, well, what does peaceful mean? If you said, I want to stop worrying. Okay, well, let's get granular on that. What does that mean for you? When do you worry? What would have to change in order for you to stop worrying? So once you have those statements, it kind of opens your mind a little bit to going, okay, well, what would that look like in my everyday life? What do I have to change in order for that to happen? And that kind of bridges the gap over to the goals for us. If you know that, you know, being healthy means moving your body every day, if that's what that relates to for you, now you can have a goal of at least going for a walk every single day or going to an exercise class or moving your body inside and stretching. That's how you start to create the goals that really mean something to you. You want to feel healthy. Healthy means move your body. So I now have a goal to move my body every day. Simple as that. Again, if you go to, I want to stop doubting myself. I want to stop worrying. Okay, if that's what I want, and I know that if doubting myself looks like me not taking action on the things that where I want to put myself out there, we understand what that looks like. So now we can set the goal of saying, I'm going to put myself out there two times a week on social media because I believe in myself. 
So hopefully you're tracking with me. We have our desire statement. We understand the definition of what that looks like in our own world. And then we can create a goal around it. Again, a goal if it feels appropriate for you. My goal for you today is just to embrace the things that you want in your life. And some of the ways that really kind of keep you on target with that is being able to write them somewhere. So if you have these statements of, I feel, I want, I want to start, I want to stop, and you have these written down, then you know what kind of actions you're going to have to take in order to align with that. And if you follow me and you have my journal, you know, in the front of that 100 day morning mindset journal, there's a place in the journal to write your goals for the next 100 days. So you can literally write out your I feel or I want statements right there. You could write out your goals and then it's below that it asks you what kind of action would you have to take in order to make this happen? And those become your intentions. So every single day when you write out your morning mindset and you write your intentions out, one of your intentions may be to move your body because you know that aligns with the healthy way you want to feel. You might have an intention that says, I'm going to, you know, stop, uh, no judgment today, no judging people. And that's going to create peace in your life. So the process of really understanding what you want and then setting intentions around it every single day is what's going to create the change for you. And this is why I like to say it's more of a lifestyle goal, lifestyle habit than it is about setting this goal for a specific number that's a smart goal and has this defined process and plan. There is a time and place for those, no doubt at all. Mm -hmm. But again, what I want you to do is embrace a life that you truly are excited to wake up for and that you love to live every single day. And that can include business. So again, if you're like, I want to start a new business, I want to, you know, feel successful, whatever your statements are, if you define it, then we understand what the action is. And then you can start taking it to build that business, to start your business, whatever it may be. This is as simple as it gets you all. Ask yourself what you want what action looks like, and then set intentions on a daily basis to go after it. You are truly, truly capable of creating whatever you want in your life. I've seen it time and time again from people who never thought they could, who had so much self-doubt and negative self-talk, and now they're creating the life that they truly love and that they have always dreamed of. So no excuses. You are capable and you deserve it, but you definitely have to take the action to do it. And I told you in the beginning of this podcast, I would give you one of my number one questions to help you achieve all your goals and to stay on track. And so here it is. Ask yourself this question at least every single day, but also ask it when you go to make decisions and when you're taking action. And it's this. Am I showing up for myself right now? Am I showing up for myself right now? That's your question. If you ask yourself that question, you are going to have a moment and an opportunity to be honest with yourself, to say an integrity with yourself, to choose to do what aligns with you and your values and the life that you want. It really is that simple. If I get up and I think I don't want to go to the gym today because I've got too much work and I ask myself, am I showing up for myself? The answer is going to be no. And so I'm going to change that. If you're sitting down with a new customer or new client and you're thinking about offering a cheaper rate because you're worried about not getting the business, I want you to ask yourself, am I showing up for myself? And when the answer is no, you're going to know that you need to make a shift. How can you show up for yourself? You can put your offering at your full price because you are worth it. You will go to the gym because it aligns with your values. If you keep asking yourself, am I showing up for myself? It's the only question you need. Because if you start showing up for yourself in all the different areas of your life, guess what? You're going to start hitting the goals that you've set. You're going to start living life the way you truly want to live it and achieving the things that you really want to achieve. 
It may sound simple to you right now, so just try it. Ask yourself today, before you even do any of this goal setting, any of these desire statements, ask yourself in moments of question, am I showing up for myself? And let me know how that feels. See if it triggers a little something in you. See if you're willing to be honest enough and stay in integrity with what's most important to you. I think it's going to be the question that changes everything for you this year. I know it has been for me in the past. I told you all this was going to be short and sweet and simple. And I hope you feel that it was. I took you through understanding why we need a little bit of reflection before we start going into these desire statements of what we want, who we want to be, that bridge us over into defining them and maybe setting goals if that feels right. But in the end, asking yourself that one question, showing up for yourself, choosing what aligns with the life you want and the values you want, that's what it's all about. We don't have to overcomplicate it. So get to work, figure out what your statements are that are going to lead you to taking the action that's going to lead to creating the life and the business that you want in 2024. And then we can celebrate throughout the year, every little milestone you hit there. So if you know someone who also needs to hear this, send this episode to them, click on the worksheets and the show notes, get everything you need to set yourself up for success this year. And you know how accessible I am. You can always send me a message online. You can email me at Angie at AngieWisdom.com. You can find me, ask me for help, ask me for support. I am happy to guide you through creating your best 2024. And speaking of best 2024, in case you haven't heard yet, Get Intentional is on March 9th here in Orange County. It will be at the Weston South Coast, and it is going to be amazing. If you joined me last year for it, it was a smaller intimate event with about 100 people, and I was your solo speaker. This year, we've got five speakers, including myself. We've got um, Ben Newman. We've got Jen Gottlieb. We've got Damon West and Randy Garn. So it is going to be off the charts, inspiring, action-oriented, connecting with about 300 50 people. So if you're ready to invest in yourself and take a big jump for 2024, I'll also put that in the show notes for you too, so you can grab yourself a ticket. But until then, I will be cheering from you from over here. And if you need anything, reach out. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to like and comment on this episode if you feel inspired to do so. Thanks.